Hello, my name is Jim Davies and I'm an Applications Engineer with the RF Power team. Today I'd like to introduce a special guest who decided to join us in the scorching heat of Arizona. Thanks Jim. Hi, I'm Danny Molazon, RF FAE with Richardson RFPD. And today we want to talk to you about the benefits of 65 volt technology and showcase how you can improve performance of your amplifier design by switching from 50 volt technology to the new high power 65 volts. So why 65 volts? Very simple, ease of use. With this new technology, you're able to achieve higher output power levels. It enables faster development time. Certainly it allows for design reuse and you can operate at manageable current levels. It also provides for a wider safety margin with a higher breakdown voltage. Precisely, Danny. Today we're going to focus on the scalability of our new 1800 watt 65 volt device, the MRFX 1K80H, which is pin compatible with previous 50 volt devices. This pin compatibility allows for little or no retuning, which enables faster time to market. Let's head to the lab and show them. Danny, wrong way. The lab's this way. Jumping right into it, here we have a 27 megahertz circuit designed for industrial heating applications. We're first going to start off by testing the legacy 50 volt, 1250 watt device in this application circuit. We'll look at power, we'll measure current, and then we'll be able to determine efficiency. So let me clamp this down and we'll begin testing. First, we'll turn on the 50 volt bias to the drains, and then we'll add the gate bias circuit, which is roughly about 100 milliamps. And next, we'll turn on the RF power. So, as you can see, this device, the MRFE 6VP61K25H, is putting out over 1200 watts of power in this 27 megahertz circuit at CW. Looking at the current level, we can see that it's roughly about 30 amps which equates to about 82% efficiency. Now we're going to use the same PCB and change out the 50 volt 1250 watt device with our 1800 watt 65 volt MRFX 1K80H with no retuning. In a matter of seconds, I can upgrade my PA from roughly 1200 watts to 1800 watts. Don't believe me? Let's take a look at the performance. Once we get this cranking, you can see that the 65 volt device in the exact same circuit with no retuning can achieve over 1800 watts of power. And looking at the current level, this device can still achieve high efficiency of around 80%. Now that's ease of use. Next, we're going to have Jim show the same design reuse using the FM band circuit, which operates from 87.5 to 108 megahertz. Thanks, Danny. Once again, we have the 1250 watt 50 volt device in our FM application circuit. We will be measuring this device in the center of the FM band with an IDQ of 200 milliamps. As you can see by looking at the power meter, we get roughly 1300 watts CW. With the 50 volt device, the current level would equate to about 81% efficiency. Now I'm going to remove the 50 volt device and do some light retuning of the circuit and replace it with the MRFX 1K80H running at 60 volts. <laughs> Once again, we are testing at the center of the FM band at 200 milliamps IDQ. You can see we are using the same PCB and we get roughly 1650 watts CW at 60 volts using the MRFX 1K80. Looking at the current meter, we calculated the efficiency to be roughly 82.3%. As Danny said, now that's ease of use. We are able to use the same PCB for our 50 volt and our high power 65 volt transistors for both applications. 
To learn more about the ease of use of this exciting new 65 volt technology, please visit us at these websites. Thank you for watching. Thank you.